Since there's quite a lot left to do, we need to go ahead and mine up all of these random ores. Uh, except for the tin, that's just a waste of time. The iron is useful though. Tin is not. We have so much tin. We may as well get the coal. We may as well get the tin as well. So much of it. <laughs> that's silver. Tin. Oh, bugger it. <laughs> oh, bugger it. Some more iron right here. Iron, tin. Iron, iron. Iron errands. There's still quite a lot left for them to do. So it's a good thing we did make the tour. Uh, as you can see, this guy's still stuck. Doesn't seem to be a way to get to... Wait, there should be a way. Come on. That's fine. We'll just have them mine through this. It's sort of the next best thing, really. When we get our builders, we'll be able to build that in anyway. So we should be fine. Now, the problem I have with this... Is that this little layer underneath here is not going to be visible anymore. So it's not going to actually look like a proper wall. I didn't put this into consideration, I won't lie. Which annoys me greatly. It probably just means that we'll have to use this sort of timbered brick underneath these uh, layers right here. Which is fine, we can do that instead. Mm. Also, it looks like... Sort of this building a uh, wall uh, floor pl process is probably going to be the longest. Right, it's going to take up the, the session, basically. Getting all the flooring done. We're still going to get all the building done. That's arguably going to take longer. In fact, if we double check on what we've got for tools when it comes to the hammers. We, okay, we actually have a load of hammers. So we should be fine, really. Maybe I'm over-exaggerating things too much. But what I imagine is we'll get the flooring done. We'll try, if we're lucky, try if we're lucky, to get the hall nice and ready to go so that people can actually use it and we can actually turn it into the normal hall or we'll get around to doing something like that anyway. Because I'm just tired of seeing people here get attacked. It's not very nice. Then again, it's meant to be here. We're meant to have the trader here because it's meant to be the market square. Okay, you know what? I've changed my mind. <laughs> it's going to be here now. It just means that people should, you know, generally stick around this area because there's a giant table. We have a lot of chairs. I think there's going to be two tables now that I think about it. Because a normal table can't fit properly. If we just double check that fact. What would it be? Furniture. Where are you, table? Large table. There we go. So let's see. Yeah, it's not properly angled. So it would be two tables. Sort of one right here, one right here. Looks like it'll be centered to these pillars that you can see. So one right there. And one would be right here once we actually get all these holes filled out. So that's pretty good. It'll also be quite open. So I imagine the main hall will probably be two blocks wide. And it'll have a bunch of sort of doorways connected to the center of it. Which will take you to all these other rooms. Which we will be able to corner off and angle off appropriately. What we'll do is we'll, we'll represent walls using the castle brick. Actually, do the inside walls need to be a different color? Oh, you know what it could be? It could use the umber, bri uh, the umber brick, which might look pretty good in my opinion. Actually, you know what? No, we, we should use the... Oh, it's, it has to be a castle, doesn't it? So no, we, we shouldn't. We should stick to the castle... No, the umber brick. We've done it. The umber brick we're sticking to. Just feel like the inside needs to be a bit different, but still have that castle feel. That's why the flooring's going to be made out of stone. Which is good for us, really, because I think this timbered brick is probably why we'd be using up so much of our normal stone. If we go to our walls right here, the timbered brick actually requires one wood. Oh no, one wood. You know what? <laughs> That's annoying. Do we have another brick type? We do. We can use the flat stone. Which is equally as nice looking. We could use the f like the normal timbered brick as the main hall. And then every sort of connector can be made out of flat stone to give it a more dungeon feel. Wow, you're all stuck, ain't you? <laughs> if you want to just move. There we go. You're all having a little bit of trouble moving to your desired locations. Uh, we need to sort of mine out some of these holes just so they can actually get in and out of them. We'll do the same right here. These are going to be doorways anyway. There's, there's probably going to be a doorway here, 
and a doorway here, and probably a doorway here as well, just to get to the nice little grass area. Probably going to be a doorway here. There's going to be a doorway probably about here as it goes in. So, you know, I'll get these mined up anyway, just because it makes sense. I don't like the idea of having a doorway here now that I think about it. In fact, oh, it's not going to make a difference. It really isn't going to make a difference. If they want to get in the castle, the AI will prioritize going the quickest way, which would be through this gate. They probably won't judge how long it will take to actually get through the gate. So, hopefully, we should be fine. But it's just another way to get in and out. We're going to keep these pathway pathways as stone for now. But I may change... Uh, wood for now, I mean. But we may change it to the timbered brick. Um, we probably will need to do timbered brick across there now that I think about it. We can get that done later. We'll, we'll get it done in a second. We've got a lot to do. The flooring is the first part. None of you can walk to your desired locations. Which is very, very unfortunate. There we are. You'll want to sort of mine the rest of this stuff up. That's fine. There's some of it that you just can't get to. And I am willing to ignore it. So all of these you just can't get to. We will ignore all of those. And we will ignore all of this. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen. Right. Sorry about that. I just went to double check on the map just to, uh, to see exactly what we need to do. So... I really just want to stick to the traditional design with the hall of what I've made on the Minecraft map, but everything else I'm going to try and judge on what I feel like is best, because the design that I've got for the interior of the building isn't exactly done, just the hall part. So really, it's a pretty good reason just to do that part traditionally, and the rest of it just to be ignored slightly. So these areas right here are meant to be towers. Um, oh man, we're meant to be, I think we're meant to actually have these come out just a little bit more. Mostly because they have the, the tower circle going on. So we really want to finish off that design. It looks like it goes across by three and then has one of these pillars. So yeah, that's pretty much fine. That Then it goes across by three there, so that's fine. But like I said, this is something we can get done later on. We just need to get the flooring done first. So we'll go ahead and change every single miner into a builder, I know. Crazy talk. There we are. And I do apologize for those that are waiting to get named. I am quite, you know, quite preoccupied, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to lie. All right, then. Still got a bunch of miners right here that need to be changed into builders. In fact, anyone that was a miner should just become a builder anyway. I think we have carpenters. Yeah, okay. Cakeling and Spectre right there. Spectre should become a carpenter because there's a lot more wood that we need to make anyway. So if we go to our resources right here. Timber, there we go. Just make like 500. Lovely. I was about to say uh, beautiful there. So it's the new fantastic. I'm not going to lie. It is the new fantastic. Any enemies? Anything that requires disposal? Doesn't look like it. We, we look pretty good right now. I'm feeling content. All these spiders right now, they can, you know, bog off. All these, also a bunch of these spiders. Poor chicken. I did just kill that chicken. Is Lei actually killed the chicken, not me. I did nothing wrong. Now, we have a bunch of resources right here that we can just go nuts on. So, let's see. 62 of those. 17 normal ingots. So, yeah, let's make... What, eight? Yeah, nearly. <laughs> Actually, no, eight. Yeah, that's fine. So, eight of those. We can make a few of these strong ingots, apparently. Only a few of them because of these solid ingots. So, we won't go nuts too much there. As for the copper... I'll make like 20 more of those, just because I feel like it's a good idea to have. And also, I think they used to make lights, which isn't really an important thing right now, because the lights are broken, and also we've got eternal light anyway. It's day 102, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just saying. But yeah, <laughs> anyway. So, we're not going to put the doors in just yet, because they're, the doorways uh, work sort of awkwardly. That like, same thing over here. Basically, they can only go through the one block in the middle in a doorway. We had this problem when we were using his lay in first person mode. That would make them going around building stuff a little bit awkward. Hopefully you can agree with me on that. As for these layers underneath, I am quite annoyed that I did just ignore them. Because it does unfortunately mean that we'll just continue to ignore them. <laughs> so let's just go ahead, go to our timber brick, take off the chisel, and let's just go all the way to the end right here. And make sure this is lined up. There we are. So we just want to get this bit done first. So everyone should be a builder. 
Yep, there we are. They're all getting the hammers. They're all trying to get the nice hammers as well. Look at them running around like zerglings. <laughs> well, at least they're some sort of bobbleheads. They don't really know what they're doing. But Or minions. There we are. They're probably minions. I'm not just sure how to really mimic the voices of minions because they're quite varied and very silly. But there you go. Mm. We will stick with that for now. Now, it is going to use up quite a lot of wood. In fact, too much of it. So we'll need to try and lay out the land and then we can just set up the stone. Everywhere else will be made out of stone and variations of it. Oh, a spider has been spotted, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, a spider. Watch out. Trevor Woodman. Wait, is that a maid name? Not like a maid maid name. You know, none of that. But I mean, like, are you... Was that like a normal name? Because that is... Like, that is a good name for your profession. That is just ridiculously accurate, as it were. A carrot, I feel like, is what I just said there. That's like a cool way of teaching someone to say accurate. Just say a carrot. And then not say it and say accurate instead. Ugh, why are you saying it wrong, Timmy? Sorry for uh, the Timmies out there. <laughs> Sorry for the Timmies out there that are, for some reason, the forefront of my anger. There we are. Fantastic. Now, before I let it go on any longer, Ask has enlisted a new soldier to the ranks. Now, I think having a fourth soldier at this point is probably a very good idea. We don't really need to bother with an archer right now. But I feel like having four soldiers and one archer as sort of the end game kind of thing is a good idea. Maybe two archers. Two archers sounds pretty good to me. So let's go ahead and find this fantastical soldier right here who did, in fact, eliminate the enemies. So I think it's Finette. Yep. Finette, you are... Are you a skilled soldier or not? But you will do for now. You're not actually currently... You're not doing anything. You're still a miner. That's very strange. However, Usk has taken you under his wing. And he will be showing you the way of the warrior. Stand a guard position. I want you to stand with Usk. Oh, but now we can have like a guard here and a guard here. Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> I got really excited about that for some reason. <laughs> it's like a proper guard thing going on right now. So we get a guard position. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. There we are. Okay. No, oh, no, okay. Remove that. We're going to increase the size by three. Add two of them right here. We'll do the same over here. Oh, keep the size as three. There we are. Make sure you stand at guard position. Finette, are you going to be picking up the highest quality armor or just like no armor? It looks like you're not really going to pick up anything. Probably because I've not told you to pick up anything. That is my fault. You should be the polearm user. That would probably not be too great, to be honest with you. Maybe? We'll, we'll tell you to, like, sort of carry everything, and we'll see what you're carrying that you don't need later on. So, Finet, if you could just go ahead and gather up any resources that you require. You know what? You need a polearm. I'm sorry. <laughs> you do need a polearm. Let's get rid of this sword. Let's give you a polearm. I don't think you can have a shield with the pole arm. But we've already told them to get a shield. So hopefully they can. And hopefully we have a pole arm. Where did you go? Oh, she went to the like proper place right there, which is nice. Alright, so she should pick up a pole. Yeah, look at it. Beautiful. So she does have boots right now. Oh, wow. Leather boots, really. She's got a halberd, though, which is absolutely fantastic. A kite shield and a chairmail coif. We need to go ahead and tell his lady to make more stuff. Unfortunately, she's having a bit of problems because she needs to make some broadswords of Harry. We'll remove the broadswords. I just need to make the, the shields and armor and helmets and that lot, to be honest with you, because she is quite vulnerable, but we need her to be a tank. Is that Usk? I oh, know. Farkas has, Farkas has been assigned to uh, to help her in Usk's stead, which is, which is pretty fantastic. So there we go. Uh, it looks like the flooring right here has been done. Let's just pause right now. We have quite a lot of wood left. So let's just make sure... We have this aligned perfectly. Let's get this bit done first, just in case we have a few issues. So basically, these are going to be two towers. I'm not sure how high they're really going to go. I don't... Start that again. I'm not really too sure how high they're meant to be going up. But I guess we're about to find out. Problem I've got with those. Well, no, it's connected to the wall. It's meant to be connected to the wall, so that's fine. It's just the outside layer that has to be made out of this castle brick. Which is alright, I can deal with that. Since we won't be able to see most of it most of the time anyway. So this goes across, this apparently, goes across like this. And then it does that, and then it goes across like this. And then it's meant to go in like that. 
So that's pretty much fine, really. Then what we can do is we can get rid of this and just have this be a doorway later on. So we can do quite a lot of work here, really. We just need to make sure to mine the rest of that later on. In fact, we might want to do it now just so we don't get ourselves confused. Let's go ahead and do this and then go across by three. That's not right. No, yeah, that isn't right. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm being a bit silly, apparently. There we are, because this is meant to be a part of this line. And then it always goes out by one corner, and then it goes out by three. There we go. Beautiful. So that's fine. There's going to be a little hole right here. I'm not too sure if I should really just cover this up completely. I guess I should. Yeah? Because the main hall is going to be pretty big. So you know what? Yeah, let's just go nuts. Let's cover this bit up, and let's go across like this as well. Because I think that's a, a good idea. We'll do the same on this side. There we are. Now, I don't think we have any miners left, but I'm going to tell them to mine this up for the future. Because we don't currently need it anymore. Uh, this bit, this bit, and this bit needs to be mined up. And it needs to be turned into a part of the tower. There we are. It's just the outside layer right here that needs to be half outside. That's connected to a doorway that's connected to another layer of the castle. It's going to look cool once you see it. Hopefully you understand what I mean. But for now, basically half the castle is in the inside. Half the castle is in the outside. The tower, that is. It's not going to be peeking up over everything else. So yes, that should be done. So we'll get those installed and that should be good for us. What we'll continue to do is go back to a construction, oh not flooring, walls, timbered brick, chiseled, non-chiseled even, and we'll just go ahead and finish off the hallway by going, let's see, down here. What sort of free on either side? Yeah, I think three on either side's good, but these parts can be sort of disconnected from the main area. So this can go across like this. And that's a pretty big looking hall. And it's not going to have a second floor in the hall as well. It's going to be sort of about two layers up. And then it's going to have the castle the, the castle roof connected to it. So that's pretty cool to see. I don't, I'm not too sure how I've connected it together, but we're about to find out, I suppose. The game paused. Oh, spider's being connected. Uh, a spider has been found, apparently. And let's actually do this just in case we forget. There we are. And then we'll just have this connect on this side. So hopefully this doesn't end up looking a little bit strange. We just want to go over here. Make sure it's not a matriarch that's nearby this spider. The spider's infiltrated our base, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the uh, Timur Sam Lanvisley Ring of Legends. Archeo out of nowhere. <laughs> there we are. Fantastic. This is... It's looking good right now. Hawk. Go in Hawkeye. That spider. I'm not seeing the uh, the new Avengers. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I don't go to the cinema very often. <laughs> so, that's just how that works. Mostly, it's not really that far away. <laughs> it's just laziness. I, I guess I don't care enough. Mm. Speaking of not caring enough. <laughs> wait, what? I was about to continue. I was about to transition into building the castle then, which didn't make any sense because this, like, <laughs> I've been looking forward to building the castle for ages. So <laughs> that is just how it works, really. Although this morning I wasn't really too keen on the idea. I won't lie. I'm not just sure what was really going on, but in my mind I was just like, I guess I was in sort of a bad mood when I was recording it the first time round. I'm not too sure why I was in a bad mood, but I think it was just because trying to build the front entrance was really awkward. Because I had to try and make it look perfect in comparison. Uh, well, it looked perfect when referencing the building in Minecraft. Wow, I didn't notice how cool this looks because of the corner blocks right here. That's really nice looking. That's a lot of detail there. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. But yeah, I didn't really need to do it with the front though. Because the front was the most important part. Other than, of course, the top part, which has like four towers and a weird roof. We'll get round to that when we get round to that, however. But yeah, that's quite important. Now, what else is also important is we need to have stairways right here. Now, I do believe that's what I'm missing right now. We do need to have some form of stairway that sort of connects around here. And then some sort of doorways on either side here that connects to other parts of the building by the looks of things. It's very loud right now. <laughs> I, I've just realized this. Also, we need to go ahead and sort of mine these up and just turn them into roof blocks. Because I think it'll be much easier to do that. Actually, will it be? You know what? No, we're not mining this up. We'll just get the roof blocks installed right now. 
I know we're I want to get sort of all of it done at once. So yeah, we're, we're working on it, apparently. Apparently we're working on it. Also, let's get rid of all this scaffolding, because it's sort of in the way. And this block right there, which would be very nice of us to do so. We'll get rid of that. Am I missing anything, game? Will you prove me wrong? Some ores, apparently. And uh, not that one. I don't think I can get there. We'll get those. We can get to that. And uh, we can get to that. There we are. It's looking good. I'm happy with this right now. It's nice. You know, this is the center right now of our main hall. Let's just double... Let's just make sure... I was about to say doubly make sure sure right there. I'm not too sure why. Let's just make sure that we're not getting attacked at all. This is very strange. We've just had spiders spawn. And although I'm not really complaining too much, I'm a little bit terrified that something big's about to come. You know, about to get attacked by like 12,000 like robo is lays. <laughs> oh god. That'd be terrifying. We'll just get obliterated. In fact, I'm going to save right now just in case that happens. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> it's going to happen now. I'm scared. Let's go to our roofing and let's go for the ceramic. Ceramic? Yeah, it's a castle. <laughs> yeah, it's a castle, you idiot. What are you talking about? There we are. Now, we'll go up here. Oh, wait, that's wrong. Yeah, that is wrong. <laughs> that is completely and utterly fucked up. There we are. Right across here. And we'll make sure this goes down to about here. There we are. And then we can make, like, pathways along here, so we should be good. Yeah, we'll be able to work around this. The awkward feeling about working around this. Well, there's a few awkward things about working around this. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. Um, there's underlayers right here, so what we can actually do around here is make a nice little doorway, but also get some walls sorted. So what we want to do is go back to the... Ooh, I did say I wanted to use the Yumba Brick. I'll tell you what, we'll see what it looks like. This is a good way of testing to see if the Yumba Brick is going to be a nice fit with our world right here. So what we want to do is sort of go up by this much with the Yumba Brick, but just make sure there's a doorway right here. Uh, we'll do the same on this side. And another doorway. Oh, okay. Another doorway. And these doorways are probably going to lead to these tower, Like this little area right here. But this tower is going to be a separated zone. Probably it's going to be perfectly connected, actually, to a hallway right here. Very nice. So yeah, we'll get that sorted out. Actually, let's wait and see how the Umber Rick's going to look. It's a nice contrast with the... The timbered brick, actually, is quite nice. But we'll look weird on the inside if we just use the ember brick. Because, I mean, I quite like it because it looks the same as the castle brick, but it has a nice sort of warmer inside of a castle sort of feel to it, if anyone knows what I'm really trying to say there. Wow, you guys are just idiots. <laughs> right, let's get that mined up right there. Just hope no one's stuck down there as well. Doesn't look like it. You want to just mine that block? Oh, looks like she's coming. Wade Dryden. Oh, I keep forgetting to name people. Right. I've got to name people. <laughs> I'm very sorry about this. I keep forgetting to do it. I've even got a thing right here that sells me. A word pad open that says, Name people in big, bold, red letters. Not red. I did lie there. <laughs> but it's in... It's bold. Okay, it is bold. And it is in font 36. There you are. Font size 36. Hmm. Okay. Wait, is my word? Okay, I've got my word list right there. So let's see. Who do we have? We've got Wade Dryden right here, who I believe... He sounds... Wade Dryden. See, the problem I have is that during the live streams, I've just forgotten... Like, who I've named, because I they're not on the list. So I've just forgotten if they're actually people or not. It sounds like Wade Dryden is someone... So I'm going to go ahead and get Trevor Woodman right here and turn them into the appropriate person. Let's see, does anyone request to be a Woodman? Doesn't look like it. Okay, the problem here is we'll also have to find out if someone's already been named or not. So someone wanted to... Uh, Luke Hobson right here. Uh, I think the problem is I've got some people that wanted to be named on Stonehearth as well mixed up. This is, this is going well. I, I feel like this is going well. 
Also, I think we've got less names here than people, so we probably used all of these. However, we'll go for Luke right here. Uh, Luke Hartman. I'm not sure if you just wanted Luke. Can't remember. We'll double check just to make sure that you've not been named already. I guess, yeah, we should do it by the ABCs right here. So let's see. Luke. Did I go past? I did. So, yep, Luke Hobson, you are new, in fact. Uh, Mude right there, who doesn't sound like someone I... No, you're not on the list, but you've got one name. So, usually it's two names, which actually is why I should really change it to just Luke, because otherwise I'm going to think that is... You know, I'm sorry, Luke Hobson, but I'm just going to... I feel like that would be something that I accidentally... So, we'll just call you Luke. Uh, but I feel like I would accidentally forget that you're a real person. <laughs> There's a lot of names on my list, so I do apologize. This is nothing personal. <laughs> There's nothing personal, ladies and gentlemen. We have a lot of C's, apparently, but we need more C's. Let's see. Uh, there we go. Lawrence. Why is the game paused? <laughs> Let's have it keep going. Uh, so, Lawrence right here. Once again. Okay, if this is a Lawrence and you're still watching, just let me know. Um, but we've got Cyrus right here. We're actually requested to be a farmer. But unfortunately, we don't need any more of those. So I do apologize. But. I think you wanted to be a farmer in Timber and, you know, and Stonehurst. Which, yeah, your sound. Your voice doesn't really sound. Like, um. Something that you requested to be on Timber and Stone. I'm not really too sure. I can't remember now. Because I've just started using separate lists for my. Uh, for different games now. So, I've only just become organized, to say the least. Uh, well, not to say the least, is basically what I'm saying. Storage apparently reached its limit. Well, I wonder what that could be, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like there's no more people now. Yeah, okay. I'm going to assume there's no more people. So, we've still got uh, Teo right here. I think it's Teo. I do apologize if it's not. Teo or Colby uh, is what you wanted to be named, I believe. We'll go ahead and upgrade all these wheat piles, because I assume it's wheat that we're running out of. Our stone's looking pretty good right now. Let's go up here, get one of our farmers mewed right there. Funny enough, as someone that I did suspect was either a new or old person. We've got a bunch of spiders, I think, still. Yep, bunch more spiders over there. Ooh, a ton of spiders! Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 spiders. Actually, two of them are dead. So, yeah, 13 spiders. Terrifying. <laughs> In fact, that's so scary that we need to deal with them, like, now. <laughs> a matriarch is still scary, okay? So we'll just get them to walk over there. Who is this? It's Farkas right here. Oh, you know what? No, ask, ask. You've given Thingamajig a, a quest, the new person. She's sleeping right now. But, uh, ask, wake her up. One second, where's ask? There we are. Right, he's on the way. Uh, meanwhile, I'll just pause. I'm going to forget what I'm doing now. <laughs> yep, this is... Um, oh, man. I like the Ember Brick. Uh, I really do like it. But I think we're going to run into a problem later on where we start to get a bit confused when the inside layer is made out of Castle Brick, but the inside layer is made out of Ember Brick, and there's going to be some disparities right there. And I don't think I like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and ruin... I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it. It doesn't always have to be a mixture of blocks. Sometimes just having one block type as a wall type can be useful. If anything, in fact, yeah, the inside layer can just be made out of normal bricks. That could be the case. How does normal brick look by itself? It's quite, it's kind of dull by itself, I won't lie. I don't think that's going to be the case either, to be honest with you. I think we're just going to stick with the castle brick because it looks so good. So yeah, we're going to stick with that. The miners are all out right now, so there we go. We'll continue onwards. <laughs> How far are we in now? <laughs> I think we're nearly done. <laughs> no, we're not nearly done. That's good then. We've still got another another playthrough going. Mm. Another episode. Okay. Usk, we're following you now. We're following you. Usk is angry. Furious, in fact. Oh, the hedges are done. Fantastic. He's actually less angry now. He's very happy to see the hedges that he ordered months ago are done. <laughs> they were fantastic. Here we go. Where'd she go? <laughs> she's she's gone. She she left quick to the secret entrance. She's gone already. Oh, there she is. She she like double timed you or something. She knew he was coming. 
He just checks, he's like, oh, she's not sleeping or anything like that. I guess I'll just uh, go back to my post and she'll be there. She'll be there like, yeah, I was here all along. 